And now back to our big gun debate here. Joining me now is Texas State Senator Dan Patrick has introduced a bill to allow concealed firearms in university campuses. And Ben Ferguson, a conservative radio host who was the victim of a gun crime himself and says he's glad the NRA is looking out for him. Welcome to you both, gentlemen. Good to be here. I wanted to start off by giving you my reaction, I guess, to the guns that I fired earlier. Because I've had a lot of people say to me, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what these guns do. Actually, the AR-15 is just another form of gun, nothing. I was pretty shocked, I'll be honest with you, when I got into this range and began to fire the AR-15. And then it began to... You can see the pictures here again. I started off quite slowly, and then it began to really rapid fire. And to hear that, you know, if someone who knows what they're doing could fire between 60, 70, 80 bullets a minute, how anyone could not classify this as an assault weapon is completely beyond me. Explain to me. It's a personal defence weapon, Piers, and the reason people against, love that weapon... Against what? Against a lot of things. Um, we live in an area, for example, and we've seen the thin veil of civility torn back in, in, in a hurricane, the aftermath. We see looters go into a neighbourhood in the aftermath, whether it's New Orleans or it was, or it was Long Island. We, we know that in our country we don't think... Uh, terrible things like a, a bomb, a dirty bomb, would, would be set off in a major city, but it could happen. No one thought 9-11 would happen. And so people have this weapon, not only to defend themselves against an individual intruder that would come out, into their home... But if you strip out but the... Against, but here's against, the thing, here's the thing. Yeah. If you strip out the AR-15 yeah. from the equation, and you take all the guns out, the Senator Feinstein, for example, wants to take out, you're still left with but two... Here's... Wait, wait a minute. You're still left with 2,000... 200 guns you can legally and, buy. And the problem is you're obsessing over one gun that a, that a bad, bad human, human being has used a couple of times. No, no, wait, no, 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 hold on, let me finish. Because, five, hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second. Have you mass ever... Shooters in America and and guess what? The, the last, last mass shooting five. that I could have been a victim of, it wasn't an AR-15. You're obsessed with an AR-15. The guy who put a gun to my head, have you ever had a gun to your head? No. Have you ever had a man look at you in the eyes and say, I'm going to blow your head off? No. With expletives while grinning. Mm -hmm. I had a gun to defend myself. I did not have an AR-15. He didn't have an AR-15. Why AR would you have needed an AR-15 in that situation? My, you're, you're missing the point of what I'm, I'm not saying. Missing the point. I'm saying that I'm you can claim you no anything right is an assault weapon when it's in the bad hands of a bad person. It's, it's not the, the gun, gun used that night was not on the special list that the senator wants to have out there. The list of guns. But you know what? That gun that night was just as dangerous to my life. Sure. When he pulled the trigger, not once, not twice, sure, not no, two, but... not three times. And this is my point. Make a point. The 10 bullets that you say, why not have a, a clip of 10? Mm. I had a, a clip that had 13. Mm -hmm. Do you, when the police showed up, you know how many bullets were left in my gun? Mm -hmm. One. I would have been too negative that. I would have run out of bullets before I was able to save my life right. and save my best friend's life. Let it's it's a you, big deal, okay, though. Okay, let me, listen, I understand the need to defend yourself in a country... I don't think so. and, and no, no, wait a minute, let me know, clarify. And you don't know a, how many me finish, are going to need let me finish to defend my yourself or your family. I understand. I needed more than 10, I, und I understand. Yeah. Let me, please let me speak. I understand in a country that has over 300 million firearms in circulation, right. people feel the need to have a firearm to defend That's themselves. Not why of I course feel like they, they do. Need it, what I don't understand, I, said, I want you to explain <laughs> to me it, it, again, because I may be stupid, I don't know what it is. No, you're not stupid. You just don't understand Having the American culture. I, I'm you trying, don't understand. I'm trying to understand that American liberty culture. and freedom does not guarantee safety. Our you, founding fathers you, you understood that. You fear tyranny, genuinely. But, no, I don't feel tyranny, but I do believe you're that, again... Do you believe your government is going to overrun Texas using the U.S. military? Because that's what tyranny would mean. What Pierce, I said earlier, Pierce, wait, wait, was, wait. was that the reason people like the AR-15, uh, and I have an AR-15, mm -hmm. my wife shoots the AR-15, it is a weapon that you can fire multiple times to defend yourself. And what I meant about the Long Island... Um, looters after aftermath, or New Orleans. We see how quickly people can turn against each other. Heaven forbid, again, we have a dirty bomb in a city and the food supply disappears and the water supply disappears and you have to defend, you have four children to defend your family. In the unlikely, I want as much, I want right. as much, I want to be able to defend my family and I have a right But nobody the felt the need in New York. I was there when Hurricane Sandy happened. Nobody felt the need to take an AR-15 to blow away looters. It wasn't like that Were on they the looting? ground. Huh? Were they looting? It was limited looting. Okay, but, but, but don't, don't act well, as if New Orleans looting was the same thing as what's happening was different. On, right. a, on a beautiful place in New Jersey here's with totally question. different clientele here's of people. my question for you. You had social economic here's, conditions here's that are question. totally different. He cited Sandy, not me. Let me put this to you. What is your answer to the parents at Sandy Hook who had their children blown to pieces about how you are personally, through the instrument well, of your radio show, 
going to try and make America a safer place simple, than it was? Simple. First of all, we got to be realistic that there are always, whether it be in America or in the UK or anywhere in the world, crazy people. I want to make sure that there's somebody at every school to be able to protect and defend children because we know now armed that teachers or armed guards. Either one. And I'll let, let the people hold on, but let, let me, me, let me say this. No, I want, it depends on what the people in I'll, that place want in that city. Do you believe do you believe the NRA agrees with this? Do I believe that the NRA agrees yeah. with? I don't, I don't know what the said. NRA agrees we, with me or not. Yes, I just we, don't want yes, kids we, to be we, safe. We just had a Cuz here's what the NRA say now. They agree with you now. Here's what Wayne Lapierre said. In 19, oh, in fact, it was just after Columbine. Watch this. First, we believe in absolutely gun free, zero tolerance, totally safe schools. That That means no guns in America's schools, period, with the rare exception of law enforcement officers or trained security personnel. I mean, that's something wrong. Thing. Well, wait a minute. That's something wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Wayne Lapierre has done a 360 on that. He's done a 360 right. on background checks. The man is being rapidly exposed as a shameless hypocrite. Yeah, but and I'm he's not, changing just, his position, in my view, he's not a hypocrite. to help sell guns Pierce. in places like this. He's not a hypocrite if he's learning and changing and adapting the same way you would mm. in a situation in life. That's called using the brain that God gave you. Heck, look at the UK. You guys figured out that having a government with a king was a probably a bad idea to rule everything. Am I wrong? Well, we worked out that... No, but did you change it? Did you change it? Yes. Welcome to America. Well, what, we changed things mean, often. What, you, what did we change? You, you have actually people in your country that decided long ago that they didn't want to have one man over an entire nation. Mm. And that's part of the reason why America's here. Let's get, let me get Am back I wrong? to this issue. Let me Am get I back. wrong? Quite baffling. Uh, Let's get back to the issue of, no, it's, of school. No, it makes sense. Very quickly, if you don't we, we, just had a, we just had a hearing in our education committee on this issue, and we've made the decision. It's a local decision, Piers. We have over 1,000 school districts in Texas. Many of the large districts have armed guards already, but the rural districts that won't have police response for 5 to 10 to 15 mm -hmm. minutes, they want to arm their met, teachers, and it's two, up met, to the parents. Let me just say this. I met two young female elementary school teachers in their early 20s in a bar in Houston on Friday night. And we were talking to them with our producers, and they were very interesting. Both believed they wanted to have a concealed uh, carry permit because they felt for their own safety. Neither of them wanted to have any assault weapons, wanted a complete ban on assault weapons, and they were absolutely aghast at the prospect of having any guns in their school. Well, there's always going to be someone who disagrees. There's always going to be someone who disagrees. Texas, someone but here's, my thing. here's what I say. You asked me earlier, what would I say to the parents mm -hmm. at this school whose kids died? I would say to you, why are you obsessing over a gun when there is a much bigger issue? I'm there's mental, but, hold on, but there's mental health okay, issues I've got to leave here. It there, but look, I'm obsessing over the very gun that killed their children. That's why. And what happens when and they and change the gun? the gun? What happens the when person? they change well, the gun? Actually, you're going to obsess you know, over every gun? I don't think you're going to, because then you'd be a hypocrite. In the end, it is the gun, because without the gun, the person no, can't shoot No, but you said not the gun, it's the person. person. I've heard this argument. I think it's a facile one, but I've heard it. If that gun sits there and no one touches it for the next decade, the gun will Let me ask you, you know why there are no shootings on planes? in America? Because we have Because no one guns. allows any do you guns. Want to make they're gun-free like zones. No, do you want to make... They are the ultimate no, example not gun of a gun-free zone. zones. They have security Gentlemen, to stop I've got to leave the it guns. there. We're going to take a break because we've got Ted Nugent waiting. I can't imagine things will get any calmer. But anyway, of course, fierce supporter of gun rights, a man I've butted hedge with before, he is ready.